which are the priorities for the audio systems in these areas? Well, again, we want to guarantee a very uniform coverage. We want to be able to be loud if necessary, because sometimes the party takes place at the cocktail bar or in the lounge or maybe in the swimming pool of the area and not really in the dance floor of the indoor club. So we must be sure to have also a lot of power also in these areas, but we must be even more elegant and discreet, so, uh, especially in beautiful places like the one in this picture. And our first proposal for these kind of venues are most of the time our slim columns featuring pure array technology. Now, the market nowadays is full of columns, right? Every manufacturer is offering some kind of columns. And the column itself, it's just a shape. But it's what you have inside the column that it's really affecting how the sound behaves and the quality that you get. We decided to create pure line array columns, meaning that they are composed of only identical cone drivers closely spaced. There is nothing else inside our columns. There are no compression drivers, no horns, no wave guides, not even crossover points. These are one-way speakers with one kind of cone driver reproducing a very, very wide frequency range. And then, of course, there are the subwoofers in charge of the low end. What is really important about this design is that not only that the sound itself will be extremely pure with a very straight phase response, because there are no crossover points, there are no ports, no passive radiators, nothing that really could compromise the perfect kind of sound. But even more important, you can easily join together multiple speakers to create a line array of the length that you need. Since these columns are composed of only identical con drivers in a line, if you want to make the array longer, you put another column on top of it and you continue to add identical uh, con drivers in a line. And you all know what happens when we make the arrays longer. Here it's a, an easy, a very simple simulation of the sound. Uh, more in detail, this is the direct SPL at 2 kHz, radiated by a 1 meter long pure array. As you can see, the high frequencies are throwing the distance up to more or less 8-10 meters. Then the sound starts to seriously drop. But if I join together two columns to create a two meter long array, you see that now we can cover uniformly a much longer area. And what if I add two more speakers to create a four meter long pure array? Here we go. You can cover 50, 60 meters, which is almost 200 feet extremely uniformly. There is no need to install a lot of little speakers all around that must be aligned, delay and everything. Make the arrays as long as you need and you will cover any kind of venue. Let's see a few examples. This is the beautiful lounge of the W Hotel that recently opened in Ibiza. And uh, as you can see, to cover, let's say the first floor, the ground floor, there are some 50 centimeter long speakers. Elegant, in white to completely disappear in the venue and long enough to cover this area. But 
Look upstairs, there is a bar, right? And that bar is not wide, I mean, it's just a couple of meters long. So we need an array that is even shorter than this. And here it is, it's our lizard KZ14, which is just 10 centimeter long. You don't need to go longer than that to cover um, a place of that size. Let's stay invisible and let's make the array as long as we effectively need. Here we are in the outdoor area of the W Hotel with a beautiful swimming pool. And again, we have 50 centimeter long speakers on both sides of the swimming pool to perfectly cover the whole area. This one is the Viper with one inch woofers. Of course, adding also the subwoofers that are hidden under uh, behind the plants. Other example were, again, 50 centimeter long arrays is what you need. Here we are in the restaurant of the Tao downtown in New York City. And the distance between the speakers and the tables is around probably five, maximum seven meters. 50 centimeter long arrays are perfect, but this time, as you can see, this is the Python KP52 which is uh, our column with the three inch buffers. So the length is the same because the distance that we want to cover is the same. But here, the Python has bigger buffers and so more SPL because this looks like a restaurant, but it can turn in kind of a club after the dinner is over. So we need speakers able to handle even more energy than what we need in a lounge. But if we want to cover a much longer area, like here we are in the lounge uh, of TWA uh, at the G JKF airport in New York City, and here we go with one meter long line of speaker, because we want to throw more in the distance and cover everybody really in the most homogeneous ways possible. And here we see another pretty large cocktail bar. You see the distance to cover with the speakers is pretty big. So we go with one meter long arrays. And this time this is the Cayman, four inch buffers. So the concept is very easy. You make the array as long as you need to cover the distance that you need. At the same time, you make it a little larger if you want more SPL everywhere. And this cocktail bar really turns again at night in, uh, in a dance floor. So we must be sure that we can reach high levels of power. But if we go to India in this beautiful lounge in New Delhi, well, you will realize immediately that this room is almost 20 meters long, which is 60 feet. I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, more than three times what you see in this picture. It's really long. Should we distribute a lot of small speakers all around with all the cables and the cost of doing that? No, let's stay again in the four corners of the room but with even longer arrays. Join together two columns to create a two meter long array that can travel really, really far and cover homogeneously the entire room. Another advantage of pure line arrays is that the longer they are and the more narrow, the sound will be in the vertical plane. The longer the array, the higher the directivity, meaning that all the energy is concentrated on the axis of the array with a minimal energy spill toward the ceiling and the floor, for example. And 
not only these guarantees a much higher intelligibility, less reverberation, because the sound is concentrated on the ears of the, of the persons, but also it can really help to control noise. This is a very good example because here we are on a cruise ship, the uh, Costa Victoria, and uh, as you can see here, they have uh, a, a, a lounge with some live music and sometimes there is a DJ. So they installed two caimans per side, two meter long array, and they really play at high volumes in the evenings. But the problem is that above, there are the bedrooms with also expensive bedrooms where maybe people prefer to sleep in the evening because they are tired after swimming all day long. Well, with this kind of speakers, the sound is so concentrated in the vertical plane that people above can sleep because they can't hear, for example, the voice of the, of the singer because really, especially the mid-high frequencies are extremely narrow in the vertical plane. And this, yes, really helps.